Mankind has harnessed the power of machinery to fulfill the many needs of our society. Today, we're taking a look at the most massive machines mankind has ever created. Number 9. Overburden Conveyor Bridge F60 The Lusatian coal fields in Germany are a series of mines on the country's border with Poland that produce some of the largest quantities of coal in the world. Having been in operation for more than a half a century, the operators needed some heavy-duty machinery to keep running at full capacity, which led to the development of the Overburden Conveyor Bridge F60. Five of these monster machines were built, and they're responsible for removing and transporting the overburden, which lies over the coal seam out of the way. They're fitted with excavators on each side, which can remove almost 30,000 tons of material every hour, and have nine conveyor belts to load onto their trucks for disposal. Each one has a cutting height of 200 feet, and the vehicles themselves are 260 feet long, 790 feet wide, and 1,647 feet long, making them by far the longest and largest vehicles ever constructed, as well as one of the heaviest with an operating weight of 13,600 tons. To put this into perspective, an F-60 is longer than the Empire State Building is tall, which represents a phenomenal feat of engineering. Number 8. Seawise Giant the Seawise Giant first set sail in 1979, and to this day remains the largest ship to have ever been built. It was designed for use as a super tanker, and at 1,504 feet long was so big that it was unable to traverse the English Channel, the Suez Canal, or the Panama Canal. When fully loaded, the displacement was more than 650,000 tons, and the bottom of the hull would submerge up to 81 feet beneath the water's surface. Building such a large vessel didn't come without its problems, though, and initially the Seawise Giant suffered from vibrations that were such a concern that the company that had commissioned it refused delivery. Following a refit, it performed closer to how it was meant to and had 46 tanks for crude oil and an enormous 230-ton rudder and a 50-ton propeller. This allowed it to reach a top speed of 16.5 knots, which is the equivalent to 19 miles per hour, but had a turning circle of 2 miles and needed five and a half miles to come to a full stop from that speed. Throughout its operational life, the ship changed hands a number of times, and was even sunk during the Iran-Iraq War in 1988. After being salvaged and fixed, it continued in service and was finally scrapped in 2010, when smaller but faster vessels proved to be far more economical. Number 7. Tysoon Crane Ports around the world are dealing with bigger ships and larger loads, so have to keep up with technology to be able to service them. At the Yantai Raffle Shipyard in Yantai, China, the largest crane in the world was built to not only handle cargo, but to assist with the construction of the super cruisers of the future. Known as the Taishun Crane, it's rated to handle loads of up to 20,000 tons and holds the record for the three heaviest lifts by a crane of all time. It was originally designed to install modules on top of ship hulls that had been built elsewhere and soon became the go-to place for anyone wanting to build a giant tanker. At 393 feet wide and 436 feet tall, it's able to service even the most complicated of needs with a 262-foot lift height. Number 6. Schwer Gustav The Schwer Gustav was possibly the most frightening weapon ever developed and holds the record for being the largest caliber rifled weapon ever deployed in combat and the heaviest mobile artillery machine ever constructed. It was to be the Nazis' war-turning weapon, and it was just a turn of fortune that meant it wasn't possible for them to use as often as they would have hoped. Weighing 1,490 tons, it was transported on the back of a train car, and it was able to fire 7.7-ton shells to a distance of up to 29 miles. It was 155 feet long, with a barrel length of 106 feet, and took a crew of 250 people three days to set up once it was in position. 14 31-inch rounds could be fired per day with a muzzle velocity of up to 2,700 feet per second, and anything that stood in its way was obliterated. The only time it was used effectively, however, was during the Battle of Sevastopol against the Soviet Union. And during this mission, the Gustav successfully destroyed a munitions depot that was hidden 98 feet beneath ground level. The weapon was eventually destroyed by German troops before the end of the Second World War to prevent it from falling into Russian hands and luckily no one has ever felt the need to recreate such a weapon since. Number 5. Komatsu D-575A Super Dozer The Komatsu D-575A is the largest bulldozer in production, and it's so powerful that it's the preferred piece of machinery at surface mines across the US, Canada, and Australia. At 38 feet and 5 inches long and 16 feet tall, 
It's able to move as much as 125 cubic yards of material on each pass and can dig to a depth of up to 7 feet. To do this, the 168-ton vehicle is powered by a 12-cylinder four-stroke diesel engine that can produce 1,150 horsepower. And it's so big that it can't simply drive itself to a new work site. It has to be dismantled and transported on up to eight trucks before being reassembled at the other end. Number four, the Panzer 8 Maus. The German military devoted huge resources towards developing powerful weapons and had a particular interest in creating the biggest war machines ever invented. This led to the creation of the Panzer 8 Maus, which remains the largest fully enclosed armored fighting vehicle ever conceived. Only one full Maus was ever completed, and it never entered service because it was captured by the Soviets before it was operational. But had they ever made it to the battlefields, they would have been almost unstoppable. At 33 feet and 6 inches long, 12 feet and 2 inches wide, and just under 12 feet tall, the 207-ton vehicle required a six-man crew to operate, which included a commander, a gunner, two loaders, a driver, and a radio operator. It could reach a top speed of 14 miles per hour over virtually any terrain, but because it was so heavy it wasn't able to use bridges and instead had to cross rivers, and was equipped with a snorkel so it could submerge to depths of up to 26 feet. The mouse was intended as a breakthrough tank, which could have punched holes in enemy defenses without taking much damage itself, and almost certainly would have changed the face of the war if it had ever properly entered service. Number 3. The Large Hadron Collider To understand and unlock the strangest mysteries of the universe requires not only a deep knowledge of physics, but also the equipment that enables the necessary experiments to take place. That was the reason behind the construction of the Large Hadron Collider which enables scientists to confirm the existence of an elusive particle called the Higgs boson. Simply put, the LHC is a particle collider that is used to accelerate particles to astonishing speeds, and at its maximum output can shoot protons around its 17-mile tunnel at just 6.8 miles per hour slower than the speed of light. The tunnel is lined with electromagnets to control this process, which make it by far the largest machine ever built and one of the most productive. Since opening in 2010, the seven detectors have achieved all they've set out to do, and more. And now, plans are in motion to replace it with an even bigger collider that can further the answers of the questions that have been raised as a result of what the LHC has found. Number 2. Bertha Tunnel Borer The Alaskan Way Viaduct is a crucial transport artery through Seattle, but following the 2001 Nisqually earthquake, it became clear that the double-decker freeway posed a safety hazard plans were put in place to build a replacement, but rather than constructing a new road above ground, the decision was made to carve a huge tunnel under downtown Seattle to connect the southern part of the city to the north. This result was the State Route 99 tunnel, which is two miles long and is double-decked, and is capable of accommodating the 110,000 vehicles that use the original viaduct each day and more. The problem that the designers had to overcome with the construction of the tunnel, however, was that there wasn't a machine on Earth big enough to do what they needed. Part of the project, therefore, involved designing a new tunnel borer, which became known as Bertha, and was the most massive one ever built. The 6,700-ton machine had a cutter head diameter of 57 and a half feet, and was 326 feet long. At a cost of $80 million, it had to be built at specialist factories in Japan, before being shipped to Seattle in 41 parts and constructed at the entrance to the planned tunnel. It began work in July of 2013, and despite encountering several delays, it completed its job by April of 2017. As there was no further use for Bertha, however, the machine was dismantled at the end of the route, and only a few of the parts are still in existence, and are now at display at a local transportation museum as a record of the huge effort it took to create the tunnel that millions of people rely upon each year. Number 1. The International Space Station First launched in 1998, the International Space Station isn't the largest machine or vehicle ever built, but it's definitely one of the most impressive things ever designed by humankind, and has set plenty of records of its own. It's actually the ninth of the 11 space stations that have entered Earth's orbit, but is by far the biggest of them all. With a modular design, extra pieces have regularly been sent up to attach to it, and currently it's 239.4 feet long and 357.5 feet wide. It was built and is run as an international collaboration between most of the nations on Earth that are involved in space exploration, and is an important tool for scientific research for both studies of the effects of microgravity and of understanding the wider universe. Due to its position in orbit, the most impressive record that the ISS holds 
is that it's the fastest moving vehicle that any human has set foot inside. It circles the Earth once every 92.68 minutes, which means it's traveling at an astonishing 17,100 miles per hour. Even if it was possible to reach this speed at ground level, you'd be able to travel from New York to Sydney, Australia in just 35 minutes.